What you listening to? Hey, thanks for stopping by. I was getting bored in here. I'm really me, stuck in this ATM. You're kidding, right? Oh, I said there's too much tuna in your tuna teeny, but my mar tuna needs more tuna. Oh, hello. Uh, is this the? Are we doing this? We're we're actually doing this. We're live, right now, coast to coast, hemisphere to hemisphere, worldwide. Dale, we are baby. It's you. It's me. On this side. Day, September Pendleton. I know football is getting all the headlines right now, but it's always 1980s baby show. Where do you hash? I'm your master days, putting the pucket in Kirby and the Henderson and proving it all night and day, Scott Rogowski. Live from the Musée d'Orsay, with over 450,000 of you, including Chase and Allie, who got married yesterday, Moshe, who just got engaged, Skylar, Tina in Canada, Jen Stone, Mr. Ambergay with birthdays, yourselves, our own Stella, wrapping up her birthday weekend. Stella makes me look pretty every night. Also, Tammy, Kelly, Isaac and Aaron, Chris and Carrie, Hannah and Ross, Dave and Rona, Perry Shal, everyone I saw and met in Philly last night at the Troc, Corey and Katie, you escaped Florence. You came to the show. I hope everyone's staying dry and safe down there. Special hello to, to Nancy and Evan, everyone on Team Nancy in Wynwood. Thinking of you. Love you all so very much. Tonight is not your typical night of HQ. We do things differently on Sundays. Tonight, you're going to attempt to answer not 12 questions, but 15. If you prove successful, you'll be splitting our cash prize, which is not... Our typical 5,000, no, we're multiplying that five by five, giving away 25K, holy free holies, that's a lot of loot. But actually 25, it's slightly in comparison to what's happening here in HQ tomorrow night. There will be no split up folks. Al, whatever you're planning to do tomorrow night at 9 p.m., cancel it and make new plans with me to play HQ because tomorrow night at 9 p.m., I'm going to change one person's life. That's right. Tomorrow is Emmy night. I'm nominating all of you for best HQ in only one way with the hardware in the form of a $100,000 prize. I'm not going to ask stopping. I'm not going to stop asking questions until one person is left standing. Yeah. It's all in partnership with Target. That's tomorrow, 9 p. Eastern time. Do not miss it. But tonight, 
Oh, we got a show for you tonight. Do you have your extra lives at the ready? You can use them once per game, not on the final round. You can get more extra lives by inviting your friends to play. Use your code, play five days in a row. That's called streaks. You also get an extra life that way. Are you ready? Are you strapped in? Yeah? Hike up your smarty pants, put on your thinking caps. It is time to get down to Quizness. Let's get down to the nitty gritty, baby, on this Sunday night. Never miss a Sunday show. We got over a half a million of you live in the game right now. Let's get this show on the road. Cumero, numero, uno. What is the name of the ancient Greek pledge commonly taken by physicians? Hippocratic Oath, Bro Code, or Vanderpump Rules? Doctor, doctor, give me the news. I got a bad case of losing HQ. Well, you try your best. And physicians try their swearing by the Hippocratic Oath to act in the best interest of the patient and to provide a lollipop on the way out. 511,357 hungry, hungry hippos scrubbing in for Q2 tonight. Found on most computer keyboards, ESC is short for what word? Escalade, escargot, or escape? Unfortunately, holding down the ESC key does not summon a plate of snails cooked in garlic butter, nor a luxury SUV. It means escape. Generally employed only under the most dire of computing circumstances. 503,386 escaping to Q3. About 5,000 of you there force quitting out of the quiz tonight. Come back tomorrow at 9 p.m. It's a big one. Q3. The cartoon character Casper is a friendly version of what traditionally scary creature? Vampire squid, wolf spider, or ghost? Well, he's such a cute little guy. It's almost easy for... Easy to forget that his existence hinges on a dead child because Casper is a friendly ghost. Yeah, he started as a children's book, then a cartoon, comic book, TV show, film. Really milking that horrible tragedy. 498,921. The story of the ghost continues for you at Q4. Which of these is a chemical often used in powder detergents and cleaners? Lorax, borax, or thorax? Can I ax you a few questions? This was first discovered in the dry lake beds of Tibet, and thank goodness, because it's now used in many useful products. The world would be a boring place without borax, aka sodium borate, a compound of boron. 556,055, you are no boron morons. You're getting Q5. The Scottish dish haggis is technically a variety of what? Casserole, pie, or sausage? The Scots, in fact, called a pudding. I mean, I don't. The real Scots. Which in the British Isles covers a broad range of foods, both sweet and savory, including foods cooked inside animal intestines or stomachs, which are technically sausages like haggis. We got a sausage question here at Q5. Not savage. Sausage. 298,997. The bagpipes are calling you to Q6. Which of these shapes is not considered an equilateral quadrilateral? Square, rhombus, or trapezoid? Hmm, two of these are, one is different from the others. A quadrilateral means it has four sides, okay? Equilateral means they're equal sides. So you got a shape with four equal sides. That's an equilateral quadrilateral describing a square rhombus, but not a trapezoid, which has four sides, but they're of varying lengths. 206,296 trap queens still running the game to the halfway point tonight, Q7. As of 2018, which of these countries has the highest paid top government leader? India, China, or Australia? Highest paid chief exec, president, prime minister, whatever they call it, the top leader of that country. Our own president made a cool $400,000 in his first year in office, which is pretty good, but $130,000 less than what Lewis Brinson made this year. However, Australia's prime minister, Malcolm Turnbull, is making the equivalent of a major league minimum salary, and we have ourselves the equivalent of a savage question here. 48,608 skating by. You could be the highest paid HQ tonight, but oh boy, Alberto, we just lost 165,000 out at Q7. You do not pass go. Q8, which of these American football positions is also a type of pliers often used by electricians, fullback, lineman, or guard? The NFL Week 2 is nearly in the books here. Why couldn't Ryan Fitzpatrick play like this when he was on the Jets? He wonders aloud to nobody in particular. Quarterbacks get all the glory, while linemen go underappreciated, but not 
on HQ. Not on this question, because Lyman pliers are often used by electricians to bend and grip wires. Working on the power lines there, 43,417. You have the power for Q9. According to Ricky Martin, which of these things is part of living la vida loca? Weekends in Spain, French champagne, or making it rain? Oh, come on, you remember this banger. It's still stuck in your head 20 years later. Upside, inside out, she's living the crazy life. Before she pushes and pulls you down, she never drinks the water, makes you water French champagne. Or oh, once you've had a taste of her, you'll never be the same. She'll make you go insane. 24,163, maintaining their sanity here at Q9, popping bottles. The verve is flowing onto Q10. In the original opening credits of the Emmy-winning Friends, which character is not wearing a turtleneck? Monica, Rachel, or Joey? Emmy-winning Friends. We got our Emmy-winning show tomorrow night. They'll be there for you. You'll be here for HQ News at 11. Name a better outfit for late-night fountain swimming than a white turtleneck. Rachel and Joey were rocking variations on a theme. Rachel with a short sleeve, Joey full length. But Monica didn't get the memo. I like turtlenecks, and so do 9,935 of you. You're still my friends. Well, you're all my friends, but you guys could be friends with benefits. I'm talking friends with money. Tomorrow night, remember, $100,000, our Emmy night. Tomorrow night, baby. Do not miss that one. Presented by Target, 100K to one person, one HQ to rule them all. But we have four questions left in tonight's quiz for 25,000. Q11, which of these California cities is named after a tree? Palo Alto, Redlands, or Whittier? 30 days in San Bernardino. Redlands in San Bernardino County, named after the color of the adobe soil in the area. Redlands, land, not a tree. Whittier, home to Nixon and Noma. Named after respected Quaker poet, Whittier. But Palo Alto was named after El Palo Alto, a historic redwood tree within the city limits. The Stanford seal has El Palo Alto in the seal. It's, it's a pretty important tree. 4,626, still standing after Q11. Maybe not as tall as Palo Alto. That's 110 feet, El Palo Alto. But we got 4,626 here at Q12. Who is the star of the follow-up to the 1993 hit film, The Fugitive? Harrison Ford, Tommy Lee Jones, or David Jansen? It wasn't me. It was the one-armed man. Okay, so it's perhaps not a straight sequel, but U.S. Marshals was indeed a spin-off from The Fugitive, the movie, which was also a TV show, with a few cast members returning to play the same characters pursuing Wesley Snipes as a different fugitive, it was Tommy Lee Jones as U.S. Deputy Marshal Sam Girard calling the shots in that one. 3,275 shot callers. You are chasing this quiz down a drain pipe all the way to Q13. Where did Napoleon Bonaparte ultimately lose his life? St. Helena, Waterloo, or Elba? There was bad news for Napoleon at all three of these places. He, of course, was exiled to Elba for nine months. He escaped, but was decisively defeated at Waterloo four months later. And he finally met his earthly end in his second exile on the remote South Atlantic island of St. Helena. Mama, at Q13, 1500 HQDs did surrender, but 1292, you have not shuffled off your mortal coil yet. You still have your wherewithal, your wits about you for Q14, the penultimate question tonight. Which of these famous structures was built for a World's Fair? The Gateway Arch, Golden Gate Bridge, or Space Needle? All's fair in love and HQ. Although some of you are thinking this question might be a bit unfair. I think it's a fun one. I've been to all three of these landmarks, three fine cities. You got the Gateway Arch in St. Louis, Golden Gate Bridge in SF, Space Needle in Seattle. This landmark was built for the 1962 World's Fair, a.k.a. the Century 21 Exposition, whose theme was the Age of Space. Mm -hmm. Nearly 60 million people have since visited the Space Needle since it went up in 62, and 1,028 of you are going up on a Sunday night. You've climbed all the way to the top. You rode the elevator 
600 feet to the top of the space needle, the top of the quiz, the top of the pops. But you gotta answer one more question, folks. Q15, standing between you and $25,000. We started with over a half a million, but now it all boils down to this final question. Just over a thousand you left here, watching, waiting, 100,000 plus, wanna see who's gonna win the money. Oh, I wanna see who's gonna win it too. Could it be you? Could it be, could it be you? No, it could be you. Q15. What was the first song performed on live American television by the Beatles? I want to hold your hand. I saw her standing there or all my loving. It was a really big shoe, a big, big shoe. When the Beatles went on the Ed Sullivan show, February 9th, 1964, and played a five song set to screaming, adoring fans. Now they had a pre-recorded appearance on the Jack Parr show earlier, but this was the first live TV appearance. Maybe you remember, I want to hold your hand from this legendary night of music. Maybe the most remembered song, but it wasn't the first. Close your eyes and I'll kiss you. Tomorrow I'll miss you. Remember I'll always be true. And then while I'm away, I'll ride home every day. And I'll send all my loving to all 273 of you who won HQ tonight, baby! Oh, I see you standing there, all 273 of you, and I'm sending all my cash to you. $25,000 split 273 ways. That breaks down to a respectable, healthy $91.57 or 58 cents. Talk about big payouts. I like what I'm seeing. Randy1022, you got a little little babe on your, on your knee there. Maybe you can buy your grandson or nephew or whatever, some presents with that money, that's good money. IH8Q12, I don't know what that means. Squirrel Girl, prizes, yeah, you got prizes, you got money, baby. Melissa Bree, so many more of you. Congratulations, one and all, 91 bucks? Big timers, number one stunners tonight. But tomorrow, guys, we're not splitting. No more splitsies, 273, no. There's gonna be one, one winner tomorrow. Like I told you, what I said, I'm changing someone's life. One HQ will be going to bed $100,000 richer tomorrow. Thanks to our friends at Target. Do not miss Emmy Night Trivia. Same app time, same app place, 9 p.m. Eastern. I'm not gonna stop asking till there's one person left standing. Could be 15 questions, could be 20 questions, 30, 40, who knows? I gotta rest up for that one. Take your vitamins, eat your spinach. Until then, I remain Mr. Buzzin. Buzz and Frog, born on the shores of the Euro Lava River in Rapala. A couple of husky jerks uh, brought me to a slimy slug, South Dakota, up there by uh, Timberdoodle. The Zebco Brothers, uh, Smithwick and uh, Salty Dog Shrimp. Uh, oh, I, I gotta, I gotta go. I've got a big meeting in uh, uh, Men's Room. Good night. <laughs>